Ähm. V? We're upstairs. Thanks. Never fade away. It's good to see you again. Something happened? Come on, Jeff will explain everything. He's just about done prepping for the debate. I've rescheduled all his meetings out of the office today. The office meaning here, so uh, Mike, nobody will bother us. talking about the cornerstone well, of my bother platform. Bother us at doing what, I'm not doing exactly. a U-turn just because Night Corp... You'll know in a minute. No, I'm not sucking anyone's dick just so they can fuck me in the ass! <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Make the amendments, we'll powwow later. Hi. V, glad you could make it. Jefferson. Grab a seat, please. I'll explain why I asked you to come over. We've had a break-in. Not the usual kind, though. So unusual how? A couple of days back, dead of night, something wakes me. A noise. I grab my pistol and come out of the bedroom. See a stranger. He looks like he's about to reach for it. So I pull the trigger. Nail him? No idea. My head started spinning and I passed out. I don't believe you. No trace of him the morning after. I don't believe you. I'd like you to find him. Find out what he wanted. Why me, of all people? Wouldn't rather have a detective look into it? Prefer to use tried and tested contacts. Can't blame you. Former mayor's death? You unraveled that mystery. I trust you'll be able to crack this one as well. Notify the badges yet? We don't want any buzz around this. No attention, whatever. You know. NCPD's full of people who like the occasional stray eddy. If we reported a break-in, the media descend on us like a swarm of locusts. No badges. Gotcha. Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our private security. Intruder, take anything, break anything. Nothing missing. I haven't noticed any damage either. Jeff must have scared him off before he could do anything. I don't believe you. What did the intruder look like? I can't remember much. It was dark. He was wearing some sort of mask. Or was it an implant? <sighs> Couldn't really get a good look at him. Elizabeth didn't see him either. I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes its toll on you. I don't believe you. <laughs> what did the intruder look like? I can't remember much. Or was it Elizabeth did I slept? Security look into this? Say anything? This is where things get a little weird. They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Security cams didn't record anything. Guard outside didn't see or hear anything. They suggested Jeff must have had a bad dream. Convenient answer. Liz gave security the day off so I could call you in. Said you passed out? That's right. Just after I fired. What then? Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. Killer headache to boot. Any idea how you made it back to your bed? Nope. None. Elizabeth's at a loss too. This security outfit, SSI. Who are they? Been on the market the last 15 years. They have clients across the city. If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. You think SSI might be behind this?
That or someone hiding behind SSI. Anyone come to mind readily? Walden Holt? He did kill the last mayor. And the Poles do have him trailing Jeff. But it could be anyone, really. Jeff has many enemies, a lot of them powerful. <laughs> we could sit here naming names all day. I see. That's why I called you, V. I need you to find out what the hell's going on. Anything else you want to tell me? Or think maybe you should? Hmm. Nope, that about covered it. Liz? It seems like everything. It's unlikely we'll learn anything anyway. Honey, please. I'm sure V'll turn something up. So, you got all you need for now? Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment. Of course. Liz can give you the tour. Gotta run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know. I don't trust these people. Come on. Let me show you around. Rather poke around my own way. You mind? No, of course not. I'll be right behind you, in case. Okay, we have some stuff up. Oh, this is beautiful, actually. Damn, guys. Heck. Fresh fruit. Tasty, by the looks of it. They deliver it to us. It's included in the rent. Looks like it's been enhanced. What have we got here? Glutamine, noradrenaline, dopamine, serotonin. All neurotransmitters. Know anything about this? It's smart food. It's enhanced for improved mental performance. I don't know if it really works, but people believe it. Other than that, it isn't half bad. Fresh fruit for rotting vegetables. Slaughterhouse. Satisfy your instinct. What? Hey, it was a sick guys. album. Yes, I'm talking to you. Are you getting what you want out of life? Let me guess. Food from a tube, rusty water from the tap, another murder outside your bedroom window. This was my den before the campaign. Wasn't Morgan Blackhand one of the legends? I think he was. I think he was mentioned in Edge Runners too. A place to focus, relax. Doesn't. Uh, my dialogue. Hmm. Wait, what the fuck am I doing? Why did I do that? Okay. Chief of Security, Wallace. Scheduled maintenance. Maybe they weren't lying. If 
file deleted. Of course. No power. New recruit. Including Sector Zero. Three maintenance. Blue agent was injured by target Alpha. So it did happen. They do know something happened. It looks like SSI's employees knew about the break in. Six, seven. Six seven zero nine. Okay, before we go up. Man, that view. Holy heck. Holy heck. What a view. Up. Everything's up. Okay. Finally. Okay, okay. We've been here. Okay, let's go up. There's still an outside. This is beautiful. This place is amazing. Broken? It was fine a couple days ago. We rarely use it though. Look at the size of this. What? what was that? No fucking clue. Felt kind of good, but weird. Like tripping on acid. That happened to the screen a lot. Or to any of the others. I don't understand. What just happened a second ago? Didn't see it? No. What? Uh, never mind.
Damn. Okay, shit's getting weird. Blood stains. Not quite scrubbed clean. Where's the blood from? Hey, yours? I'm 100% sure it's not ours. Maybe the intruders? Probably. Between 24 hours. Okay. Jesus Christ. Think we're safe putting your security at the top of our list of suspects? Why? They violated our privacy. Oh, they were watching Sons them. Of bitches under my own roof. Ever noticed anything out of the ordinary? Suspicious? That they're violating our trust, watching our every move? That they'd concealed a goddamn secret room full of spy stuff in our own apartment? So you didn't notice, okay? Wonder how long they've been keeping this from you. Too long. This ends now. I am not letting any more of those freaks set foot. Ugh. My head. Oh no. Something wrong? Don't worry about me. Do what you have to do. They are fucking with them. Oh no. This is bad. There's the other side of the screen. Okay, that's the strange computer. We're gonna leave that for... Actually... It's this, right? Yeah. Use meds. Intruder make a beeline here after Jeff tagged him? Talking to yourself again? More and more. Ever since this terrorist started stalking me. Yeah, we're gonna leave this for last. Wow, that's dark. Something like this back in the war. Transmitters. Militech was using them. Short range UHF. Signal only travels line of sight, but it can't be intercepted. Line of sight? Let's look around. See if we can't spot where our receiver is camping out. Got a vision on our receiver. Black van parked next to it. Gotta be our winner. The hell is this all for, though? Fuck if I know, but my gut tells me we should see what this bad boy's hooked up to. See these cables? Stuff to scan up? I don't think so. Cables lead here. Gotta be another way inside. Sharp eye, Johnny. Okay. Come on, we're not done.
it's kind of hard to find the clues when I know there's one I, I'm ignoring. Heck. It's telling me there's something up here. Surely that's wrong. Again, I, I broke the dialogues because I I found the the end before the start, so I, I'm I'm missing dialogues. Vote for Prowlis. We are paying the staffers and for the campaign out of pocket. And we keep all the campaign stuff here. It's cheaper that way. Dad's campaign. Zochi. Judy. I know Judy. I think I've read this one before. Oh, yeah. They call her Vim. V. So, yeah. We know about that. Eric. change his mind. Oh no, they're, they're fucking with him. With them. With both of them. Fucking with their minds. Making them forget stuff and all kinds of weird shit. Department of Law at Asukaga, Berkeley. Hmm. Classy. Uh, 
Um. Hello? Discharged booster. Someone's been pulling all nighters. Oh, wow. That's a nice view. Take a bath in. Man, imagine having this much money. Holy fuck. Crazy. Well, there's not much left. mounted screens wonder where else these cables run transmitters within reach of our mystery van wonder if elizabeth has ever seen the car this this is way bigger than we thought jeff's entire campaign could be threatened let me worry about the race just tell me what you managed to find there's a transmitter on the roof. Seems to be conveying a signal to a van out front. Know who it might be? We never set up any transmitter, and I don't know a thing about any van, but my guess is it's SSI's. Don't really see any other possibility, but we still don't know who they work for. So what do we do with the transmitter? Nothing just yet. Let me check the van first. I'll wait here. Just. Don't tell Jeff anything for now, okay? Sure, whatever. I'll call him once I know something more substantial. That's fine. Just remember it's the busiest time for Jeff right now. You can always come and talk to me. Fine, I'll keep that in mind. Hmm. Hmm. Is that so? Cables. I'm a bit lost. All right. I see some stairs. Oh, here we go. This goes down. All right. Says that there's something there, but all right, whatever.
Benham. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Thanks. That's a nice thing to say. These elevator rides are really immersive. I really feel like I'm in an elevator when I'm riding those. How about we take the wheels, V? That van could give us a slip any second. I'm packed with hardware. My optics don't see any manufacturer info or detect any mods. They don't mass produce trucks like those. What are they doing? What are they hiding? Earjacking. Huh. Could be the security firm or government. Media scouting for dirt on the paralysis? Whoever it is, our intruder could be in there. I think it's time I went and said hello. Uncultured swine. There they go. We are about to find out. Don't lose them, V. Oh, now you're interested. We could expose a corpo conspiracy here, V. I'm gonna lose them if they could be corpo spies or who the fuck knows what. Should I shoot their tires? What is this? Sorry. You look at politicians and see a curated display, but behind the scenes, it's all out war. Citizens don't choose their representatives. Okay, I cannot. Then who? The key players, string pullers, 
They spy on all the paralysis, look for weak spots, blackmail, rig elections. Shit. They're taking us into Northside? It's canon well, Johnny. What is Northside? Hmm. Impact them. That was really cool.
pierced it, we're in. Couldn't ask the NCPD for better records than this. Pictures, medical records. Vulnerability to neuroplasticity. It's some kind of database. Brain scans, the paralysis biological casts, neuroplasticity. Fuck. What about that? The blue shit. Fresh neural links. They're not spying on them, Johnny. They're fucking with their heads. You mean to say someone's literally controlling our upstanding politicians' minds? Uh huh. Red blots are memory residue in the hippocampus region. See how they're bleeding into the blue? So what are we looking at? They're planting new memories in their heads, modifying their personalities. Oh, this is big shit, Johnny. Fuck me. Got other guinea pigs besides the paralysis, too. Quick, download the data. Whoever comes looking for it, that's your suspect. Shit! They're wiping the data! We've been made. Now they know someone's been in their database. Wonder if they also know who. V, do you have any news? You're gonna wanna sit down for this. It's... It's way bigger than we thought. What is? You're being brainwashed. Literally. They've scanned your minds and now using some kind of conditioning to... Wait. Not on the hollow. Right. I'll come by. No. You and I... We need to speak alone. I know a little ramen place in Japantown. Sending you the coordinates. Right. See you there. Will you sit? Please? Thank you for coming. Cozy little joint. Doesn't really match your style, though. But it's perfect for one-on-one. -on -one. Here we are, then. What is it? I... I'm sorry. My nerves are shot. I can't gather my thoughts. Wasn't that long ago we last met. Something happened since then? No, I mean, something did happen, though not recently. An explosion of taste. It's a long story. I don't quite know how to tell you. Where to even start? Relax. No need to rush. Ah. 
Uh, uh, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. His personality... He seemed to be changing right in front of me. Becoming someone else. How so? He stopped reading, forgot the title of his favorite movie. Even his musical taste changed overnight. Once, I said we should visit his brother's grave, and he told me that he'd been an only child. That's when I started thinking something bad was happening. Something... insidious. And not just with Jeff. Notice any changes in yourself? After some time, on several occasions, my friends pointed out that I was acting strangely. Oh, that must have been hard. It was. You know, it's at times like those you start to question reality. So the whole time you knew what I could end up finding? I don't know who, how, or why, but they're changing us. That concealed room in our apartment? What about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. I find that terrifying. Mentioned any of this to Jeff? I tried. I did. But he's blinded to everything. He just laughed, said I was imagining things. He once brought up a vacation that we never went on, swear to God. He went on about it in such detail, I almost started believing him. Could be just you who forgot. Maybe they just wiped the trip from your memory. Hell, I don't know anymore. Don't you get that? Haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. find it strange you took this to security instead of your husband. I thought I was going insane. I wanted to see what was on the feeds first. There was nothing there, of course, so what was I supposed to tell Jeff? And then, the next day, I got a call. Who was it? Them. Whoever they are. There was a garbled voice on the other end. He never introduced himself. And any for your thoughts? They threaten you? Try to blackmail you? They said I was walking on thin ice. That if we kept stirring up trouble, Jeff could have an accident. Then they wiped any record of our conversation. It was as if it had never happened. So I'm begging you, V. Jefferson can't find out about any of this. Ever. His life depends on it. What if you're just saying what they programmed you to say? Just reading off a script based on thoughts planted in your head? All I know is, I love my husband, and I want him to be safe, and... and happy. Or that's what they want you to know. You know what Jeff will do if you tell him? I know my husband. He'll start looking on his own. He can't find out about this. It... it destroy him. You knew who sent the intruder, but just strung me along anyway, Liz? I didn't have a choice. I didn't know what to do. Wanted everything to just go on and flow on, because it was convenient. Convenient? I got the perfect life. Prominent husband. You don't lack for a thing. You think I'm having fun? You have no idea what it's like living like this. V? Are you still with me? But damn it, Elizabeth, you gonna ignore this? Somebody poking around in your heads. 
What choice do I have? To get myself killed? Or see my husband dragged away from me? Asking me to lie to my employer? I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. And if I'm not on board? You have a choice. Just remember, any consequences will not be yours to deal with. Truly prepared to fire SSI? After the threats? It'd be brave, but risky as I'll get out. What they're doing to us is one thing, but when you found that concealed room? I can't accept strangers spying on us while we sleep. Not under my own roof. What difference does it make where? I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. Mm -hmm. I'll add a meeting in Reconciliation Park to Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. I won't. But that's all I can promise. Goodbye, V. Whole thing's fucked up, huh? Wouldn't want to be in her pants. Speaking of, overlapping memories, changing personalities. Remind you of anything? But hey, at least we know what we're up against. This is different. Saw yourself. They're purposely modifying their mind's individual thoughts. Mm-hmm. Paralysis make a damn nice next-gen puppet. Even in my day, there were whispers about this kind of stuff. Cognitive pattern fluctuators, remote neural re-networking. In layman's terms, gaslighting. The beauty is that everything's fair game. Subliminal TV signals, high-density emitters in your electric toothbrush. You name it. So, in my pants, what would you do? Some real rat bastards behind this. Someone's got to take them down. Even by risking the Paralysis' lives? Fuck knows what kind of shit a mayor controlled by puppet masters could pull. But yeah, you could end up putting their lives at risk. Or not. Tough choice, V. Burning still hot, point blank, that's a motherfucking kill. 
Yeah. It doesn't matter what you tell him. It doesn't matter what you think of doing or do. You can't change anything. What? what? We know who you are. We know what you are. We know what you want. You are playing with fire. Don't dare cross the line. Fuck. Hello, V. Need to talk. Yes, I know. Elizabeth filled me in. Sounds like I was right to hire a professional. Elizabeth, what did she tell you, exactly? Didn't get specific. Just that SSI was spying for that son of a bitch Holt. Guess you got more, though. Is everything all right? SSI wasn't working for Holt. You're in deeper shit than you think. Meaning? V? Isn't it weird that you're a virtuous politician, candidate? <sighs> Flattered, but no. I'm far from it. Though I try my best, what's this got to do with anything? How many people can honestly say they don't strike deals with gangs or take eddies from corpse? A lot, I'd like to think. They just haven't introduced themselves yet. Almost like this city doesn't deserve somebody like you. I'm not paying you to make up riddles for me, so get to the point. SSI's on the take of some unknown group that's out to control your lives. Know there's a concealed room in your pad? Out with it. They've got tech in there you wouldn't believe. These people know everything about you and your wife, watching your every move. <sighs> Somebody's hijacked your life, reset your course, your career. I'll admit, there were a couple of fortunate coincidences, but... It... They forged your views, personality, even that skepticism that pisses me off so much. Clearly, what they want is for you to be their mayor, molding you like a clay figurine. Fuck. I need to remember who recommended SSI to me. Your memories? Can't even trust those anymore. If that's true, I'll never know what's real in my life and what's a lie, fabricated. Wait, the intruder. I have to find him! Trust me. You never will. First I'll find him, then I'll find whoever's behind this. Pull the curtain back on these motherfuckers and show them what's what. Are you kidding? How would you expect to do that? Want to take on a shadowy organization that controls your mind, anticipates your every move, programs it? 
There's gotta be a way. Don't stand a kitten's chance in the dog pound. Sorry. My god. I have to tell Liz. Your wife knows everything. Liz? How? Figured it out at some point? Elizabeth? No, 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 no. She would have said something. She feared for your life, your daughter's life. Who could blame her? Nah. No, she's never kept anything from me. And she doesn't scare easily, believe me. Got an anonymous hollow telling her to keep her mouth shut. So she did what the perfect candidate's wife would do. Protected her family. I won't let them get away with this. Is there anything else I can do? You've done enough already, V. All that's left to do is wait. So what now? Still want to be mayor? Well, I'm not about to give up. I didn't run just to... Uh, I'll wait for my window. An opportunity. Then make my move. Isn't that exactly what they want? Well, I'll give them more than they bargained for. Yeah, same with your eddies. Take care, V. Good luck. And good night. So, thoughts? Hmm, somehow I doubt it's people who are behind this. So aliens? Very funny. You're too young to remember this, but not so long ago, people talked about rogue AIs prowling cyberspace. So, not aliens. Doesn't matter who. What matters is that guy decided to take up the gauntlet. My man. I was thinking about swapping some chrome. Got any new toys? Have a look.
How's Biz going? How's it going, Misty? You all right? I think so. Not easy, you know. But in my... Sorry, I have accidentally been muted. Uh, I'm not sure how long for. My bad. It didn't miss anything. I just... Yeah, 
I, I didn't do anything important. I didn't say anything important. I just tried to fix my hands. And got my fist fighting build. And now we're reading some text from Jefferson. And he's not responding. Life back together. Without him. And you? I mean, you too? I thought she I thought she was talking about Judy. Contact not found. Fuck, man. Freaking rogue AI. It's weird, but I think we're starting to see eye to eye. I had a feeling it'd work out. It's hard not to get along with you, V. I, I'm pretty sure we. I'm pretty sure we talked to her. How's it going with Mama Wells? Pretty good. Maybe too good. How's that? After we said goodbye to Jackie, she invited me over. We talked for a while. Now, not a day goes by when she doesn't call. Ask how it's going. Tells me about herself, Jackie, everything. Sometimes for hours. Sent me a roast the other day. Huh. You believe that? Apparently I'm too skinny. She knows I don't eat meat. V, I'm afraid she's trying to, I don't know, adopt me somehow. <laughs> What's the big deal? I wish someone would make me a roast. I think Miss Wells is using me to avoid thinking about her son's death. With a new surrogate daughter. Exactly. Ever run into a guy who calls himself a Zen master? No, but I've heard of him. He try and give you some meditation BDs? Uh-huh. Then he disappeared. All I found was his clothes. And that worries you. Thought I was seeing things at first, but if other people saw him. He usually only appears right before someone dies. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. No idea who that guy is. But I don't think a little meditation would hurt either. Any case, if you see him again, send him to me. Wanna meditate too? No. Wanna read his tarot. Jackie gave you these cards, right? Remember when he asked me to help him pick the right deck? Mm-hmm. He picked just the thing for me, too. I feel a real connection to this deck. We could lay out a spread for you now, if you like. Um... Thanks, but not really my thing. Some other time, maybe. Fuck fate. Wanna read my tarot? Sure thing. Might as well. The chariot. You're ready for change. Ready to seek the truth about yourself. And to help, you'll have... Someone from your family? The sun reversed. You'll meet some obstacles, but they will be temporary. So long as you follow your own judgment. Stick to your chosen path. That shit's so vague, man. Strength. Strength of will, discipline, and courage will anyone. always be rewarded. But not necessarily at your destination, as the reversed magician shows. Perhaps the path itself is what's important, and will help you overcome your fear? Thanks, Misty. Oh wow, this is foggy. You know why they had to make him video? Alright, let's go home. I forgot where home is. 
Okay, right there. Man, what is this weather? Nice. I'm happy to hear. Hey, Elizabeth. Hi, how can I help you? Did Jeff mention our conversation? He wasn't himself after your meeting. I didn't ask anything, but I could guess. That I told him the truth? You did what you thought was prudent. So no hard feelings? First, I need to know what Jefferson plans to do with this information. Assuming he doesn't forget. <clears throat> and it's too late for hard feelings. Campaign coffers are full, I hope. We're managing just fine. It certainly hasn't been easy, true. Independence can have its limitations. But it keeps the corporate leashes off your neck. Exactly right. How's Jeff handling all the campaign chaos? He's thriving, V. He's in his element. Jefferson was born to change the world. Gotta win the election first. He's never more comfortable than when he's with voters. Some say Jefferson's too honest, too open, but they say it out of respect, not spite. How's the campaign trail? Promising. Jefferson's beginning to rise as Holt's numbers slip. People seem to really trust Jeff. Our message is simple and honest. Voters are starting to notice how we treat them genuinely, not like data on a stat sheet. If we can maintain this momentum, I know Jefferson will be our new mayor. Man. Actually, Liz, I, I gotta go. No problem. We'll talk later. I don't know. She seems alright. So he must be alright. Right? Yeah, he's alright. He's just busy. He can't... We can't call him because he's busy. That's all. Where's his number? Oh, wow. Judy, you won't believe the day I just had. I was just thinking of you. And before you ask, no, you weren't wearing clothes. Nothing special, same old story. V, come I'd on, rather v. hear about you. Tell her about the rogue AI changing people's minds, literally, directly. <laughs> Let's go to sleep. Alright, Judy, good talk. Yeah, that was crazy. Oh, well, well. The Bushido collection in BD format. And Judy's rook saying. collector's items nowadays. Nothing's all right. Michael. Moving from below the earth to above it, Militech has announced plans to establish a new colony on the Red Planet. The proposed base will be subdivided into three areas. Industrial, scientific, and residential. Ten residential modules are already available for purchase at a starting rate of 100 million euro dollars. A hefty price, yes. But can you truly put a price on your security? In New Mexico and Oklahoma, a new bout of unrest has erupted in the wake of suicide blasts at NUS bases. President Myers has openly... Hey, Reaver.
Good for them. I'm happy. I'm happy about that. Don't want him getting any ideas. Man. Although both sides have what a day. the desire to avoid further escalation of the conflict, bookies have put the odds of a full blown border war at Who would have thought? It's a cattle, cattle broad. Cattle broad. Fucking heck. That concludes to Perilous future. Electro punk. Let's make an outfit here. Wait, where is Johnny's? Where is Johnny's thing? His shirt. Wait, what? Ah, there we go. It's just not... not marked. No, that's not the one. Is it? No, there we go. I really don't like the jacket, though. Even that one is cooler. Cooler. Where is it? That's actually not bad. Where is Johnny's jacket? It's up. Am I blind?
Ah, uh, there we go. Ah, uh, the the shoes are clipping. Fucking hell, man. Seriously? They couldn't fix the Johnny's clothes? They left that clipping? Seriously? That's very sloppy. There's no other way to put it. I'm not using that fucking jacket, alright? I really hope I didn't miss his pants. Also, his shoes don't really work with the uh, they're more they're more like male male type shoes, so. Where are the boots with the metal toes? No. That's not it. Maybe I didn't buy them. Yeah, I probably saw them in the shop and I didn't buy them. That's alright. I mean, this is good enough, right? That's good enough. Half V, half Johnny. Yeah, this is good enough. I'm using the shirt. This is not bad, actually. And yeah, that works better. Um, what?
man, she looks she looks pretty awesome here. No, that's a bit too much for me. No, I think it actually looks better with the other one. Not this one. That one. Okay, and then we have this. In the default outfit. Cool. Let's do a little bit of Joni for now. I'd rather puke out my ears. Man, it's good to be home. It's pretty good to be home. Hey, girl. I missed you. Man, it's been a while, actually. It's been a long while since we've been home. Don't make trouble. Uh, nice, nice seeing Judy again. No place like home. I don't know. I don't know if this is her. This could be the AI fucking things up. So I can't call her anymore, right? Yeah, I can't. Fuck, man. Hey, gigs all set up super sweet like tonight at the Red Dirt. Talk to Carrie? Didn't change his mind or anything? No, no, not at all. He's pretty stoked, in fact. Haven't seen him like this since the Silverhand days. What about Henry? Still not on board? <sighs> Didn't even try. Not wasting my breath on that dick tip. Well, so, see you tonight. And don't worry about your axe. Got the gear all rounded up. Well then. I like Supreme. I think that's that's the name of another song. That's the name of an, another song from Samurai. team
far am I going? Heck. Actually, <sighs> I don't want the gorilla gorilla arms if I'm gonna do the concert. Yeah, I don't want to have those arms while singing. Was thinking about sw All right, that's enough. Then we'll come back and put them back on later. Afterwards, for the fight. All right, thanks, Vic. I love this place at night, man. It's so incredibly beautiful. So beautiful. 